Hey guys, what's going on? Sin here. So, I've never made fried ice cream before. I've always wanted to, but I've always been so nervous because I feel like I'm gonna just butcher it completely. But, um, why not just challenge myself this week, right? Alright, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your ice cream and you want to take your large ice cream scooper and you just want to form some pretty good sized scoops. So once you're done scooping, you're going to throw these babies into the freezer for about an hour. So in order to prepare the coating, you're going to need your cornflakes, the cookie crumbs, and sugar. Mix that all up. So step one is to grab a scoop and put it into the crumb mixture. Step two, dip the scoop into the egg wash. Step three, Put the scoop back into the crumb mixture. Please, please make sure that your ice cream is completely covered in crumbs or else it's not going to fry properly. Once you're done with all these steps, go ahead and put them in the freezer for another two hours. Okay, so time to fry these babies. So unfortunately the oil did not cover the scoop completely so I kind of rolled it around a few times just really gently if you notice it's already starting to brown and it's only been in there for about 10 to 15 seconds once you notice this just take it out right away so once we're done frying go ahead and add your toppings Here it is, all finished and looking all sexy. So this was probably one of the best things I've ever had in my whole entire life. Um, do I recommend this recipe? Of course. What does it taste like, you ask? Like heaven, duh. No, but seriously, the coating was really nice and warm and it was crispy and the taste was just lovely. Like it was like some cereal heaven or something. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of weird, but it was delicious. As for the ice cream in the center, it was still solid. It was creamy. It was delicious. It just all went well according to plan. The toppings of course were delicious as well. They added a, a few more cool points to this awesome dessert, but I think even without the toppings it would have still been bomb. So of course I'm going to rate this recipe a 5 out of 5, I mean, come on, why wouldn't I? Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and to stay tuned because there's much more to come.